Now that we've got everything basically working, we need to start adding in the major details. And a major detail that's still missing is our collision. So let's talk about collision. Let me just drag on a bird here as a reference point, and I'll drag on one of our pipes as a reference point as well. So inside of our game, we are going to have our pipes and we're going to have our bird. And these pipes are going to move towards our bird and eventually they are going to hit whenever the box collision around our pipe meets or makes contact with the capsule collision around our bird. Whenever one of these on hit events takes place, we can have code set up that dictates what the next step should be whenever a hit occurs. Now what's very flexible and powerful within Unreal is we can actually set up each individual class to do something different whenever a collision takes place with them. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to go into our bird and we're going to make sure that when a hit event is registered, the bird does something. So let's go into our code. So we're gonna go into our header file for the bird and we're going to add in a new function. This is going to be a U function. It's very important to note that you should not be putting U functions beneath your generic private functions because that will cause an error. You always wanna keep your U stuff all batched together near the top. So I'm going to create a new U function, but this one is not going to be revealed to the blueprint. So I'm just going to put my parentheses there. Now for this, we are going to now create a method that is going to be called whenever we are having an on hit event registered. I'm going to make this a void event and it's going to be called on hit. Now inside of on hit, we now have to give a very specific signature that is going to properly register within what's in Unreal. I'll be honest, without a tutorial to specifically give you the signature, it is very difficult to find out what you should be putting here but I have come across a little bit of a cheat that is going to help you at least a little bit with what you need to provide. So in order to go over this hint, I'm going to show you the documentation I have for you primitive component because collision is considered a primitive thing. So when I go into this you primitive component documentation, I can look for something called on hit, and that's obviously not gonna yield any results. But when I look for something, if I just look for keyword hit, we can start going through all the different instances here to see if we can find anything that works. And here we go, we have this one here that is going to be what we're looking for, and it's on component hit. Now when I click on on component hit, it tells me that this requires an F component hit signature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take F component hit signature, and I'm going to paste that anywhere into my file here. Now what I can do is I'm going to take this F component hit signature, and I'm going to press hotkey F12. This is going to search all of the files that I have access to from Unreal for this signature. So I'm gonna press that now. We can see it searches and finds this declare dynamic multicast delegate. And then we can see here that we can give it five parameters, six parameters, four parameters, two parameters. And we are now have this signature that we need to pass through. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go back into my bird and I'm going to paste it in some parentheses here. Now, after I paste this in here, there's a bunch of stuff that we need to sort out because this obviously on its own is not proper. The first thing here is we're gonna kind of sort through things so I can teach you what you do and don't need. F component hit signature, well, that's the garbage that let us find the signature. We don't actually need to pass it through. Next, it's talking that this is a U primitive component talking about on component hit. We don't need this. This is saying that we are calling a method called on component hit. So we're gonna delete the uprimitive component and we're gonna delete the on component hit. Now, after those two things are out of the way, we are actually dealing with the parameters that we need to pass around. The first is a uprimitive component pointer, but we're gonna remove this comma because we don't need it. And this uprimitive component is the hit component or the component that was hit. Next, it's an actor pointer. So this is going to be a pointer to the other actor that was involved in this hit. Next, we need to pass in another uprimitive component, and this is going to be the other component that was involved in this collision. And next, we need to pass in an F vector, which can be used for impulses if we wanted to go and throw that around. And then finally, we have a constant reference to a hit result called hit. Again, usable in certain things. So now I can go and end this with a semicolon, and we now have a proper signature for something we wouldn't otherwise be able to find. Now, as per usual, I'm going to go and use my little tool belt here, and I'm going to create my signature properly within the C++ file. And then I'll close that. And before I go into bird.cpp, I'm going to delete my F component hit signature. 
because I don't want that to be a sneaky error I have to deal with later. Perfect. So now into bird CPP we go, and now we're going to go and we're going to set up the actual collision. So we're basically going to be making something that says, hey, every single time that I register a hit, call this method. Namely, we want to call our on hit method. How are we going to do this? So what I've seen all around is we do not want to do this within the constructor. Apparently that can cause issues. So we're going to make sure this gets set up during begin play. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the component that is responsible for our collision, which is going to be our capsule component, because that's where everything is enabled. And we are then going to go and we are going to set something up called on component hit or what we were dealing with before. So this is basically saying on a component hit, we are going to add dynamically a function. And we're going to add a function that says when this is hit, we want to call the function from our bird called on hit. Now it's important to note here that for some reason, the IntelliSense really wants to add this internal tag. Just delete it, it'll get rid of the error. Add dynamic does exist. So now with this setup, we can see that whenever our capsule component is hit, we are going to call the on hit function. And to make sure this is working properly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to put a UE log and we're going to make sure that this is a log temp. We're going to make it a warning and we are going to make the text equal to hit, 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 save our changes, compile. And now we're going to go and start testing this. So whenever we're doing our testing, we'll make sure our output log is visible. And now let's go in and let's, let's see this. I'm going to hit play and let's start bouncing around and we'll wait for our first set of pipes to get here. So as our first set of pipes are arriving here, I'm going to go and I'm going to try and get hit. And we can see I do get hit. Clearly the collision is working, but an on hit event didn't register. Why is that? So to address this problem, we're going to have to check a few things. Since we are using an impulse here, that is considered a physics calculation. And we have to make sure that physics calculations are going to generate our hit events. So first we're going to check our bird here. So if we go into the capsule component for our bird, we can scroll down to the collision section here. And we can see that simulation generates hit events is on. And this basically is saying that this should fire hit events when the object collides during a physics simulation, which is exactly what we want. So now we have to make sure the other piece of our puzzle has that as well. So we're going to go into BP underscore big pipe. We're going to choose our box component and we're going to do the same check here. And then when we go and get down to collision, we can see that first of all, this generates overlap events, which we don't want. We want this to only generate hit events. And this does not currently interact with simulations from physics. So we want to make sure we turn this on. And we're also going to make sure this doesn't just overlap all dynamic. We want to block all dynamic. And then we're going to compile and save. I'll close this just to make it a little bit easier to see. And then I'm going to start jumping. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to try and land right in the middle of these pipes as a nice little airplane landing here. And then I'm going to hit F8 to break out. And then I'm going to go to my output log and we can see now that we are properly sending our hit event, which is perfect. So now we've got our collision working properly with the pipes. We wanna make sure our collision also is going to work properly with our world. So we're gonna go back into our world here and we're going to go and we're gonna look at our upper volume and we're gonna go and we're gonna scroll down to collision. We don't want this to generate overlapping events. We want the collision preset to be block all. And to account for physics, we're going to turn on our simulation generates hit event setting. And then since we did not duplicate things before, we're going to go into lower volume and we're going to do the same thing, change our collision preset to block all dynamic and turn on this setting for physics. So now with those taken care of, I can now hit play and now I can ram myself into the top and bottom of this world at will. So now that we've got our actual hit event set up and we know that it's working, we're gonna go and we're gonna set up what we actually want to happen when we hit. So let's go back into code. We're gonna get rid of our log here and now we're going to just add some things that I think are funny that should happen whenever we hit. The first thing that I wanna do, cause I love this effect, is I'm going to use our capsule component and I am going to set up our gravity. So I'm gonna set enable gravity and I'm going to set gravity to be false because when I make a hit, I wanna just float into space dramatically. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop my bird from doing anything. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use this function called set actor tick enabled. From there, I'm going to set this to also be false to say that I no longer want this actor to tick. Now I'm totally okay with all of the pipes still moving for a while. So I'm totally going to leave that as is. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disable input for this player. So I'm going to take our player, which I'm going to use this for, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say something like disable input. And that sounds good. And then I, what does this say I need to give it? I need to give it a player controller. 
So I'm going to create this after, but I'm going to basically say I'm going to pass it in this bird player controller variable that I'm now going to go and make. So inside of our header file now, I'm going to go back into my private section here and I'm going to go and I'm going to create a reference. To do this, I'm going to make a new variable of type a player controller. This is going to be a pointer and I'm going to call it our bird player controller. So now we're gonna go and whenever we go and we make a hit, we are going to use our bird player controller and it is then going to stop taking in any input. So now I'm going to save, compile. I'll close out of this. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit play and I'm just gonna ram myself into the top. I can no longer hit the space bar. Gravity is a thing of the past and all is well. 